Hey guys and welcome to a video of Timothy, my Tamor Shield Mantis, eating a fly. Now don't worry, I won't be waffling on for too long over today's footage, but I did want to quickly give you guys an update on him. So firstly, he is most likely a she, but I'll probably still refer to her as a he out of just habit. Secondly, Timothy had his first molt with me, so I know some people were concerned he wouldn't have a successful one since I didn't have mesh in his enclosure. However, he just hung upside down off of a leaf and it was successful, though I am working on a 3D printed contraption to use when he gets bigger. But now over to the feeding. Now, unfortunately, I was moving things about and trying to get things in focus when he actually caught the fly. He did then pause for quite a while whilst I was trying to set up my camera, he just looked kind of perplexed, just held the fly there for a while, uh, but eventually he got back to eating. So I have found that blue bottle or green bottle flies um, not only are pretty decent feeders for mantis, but also something that can be very stimulating since usually they are flying around. I've not only found that Timothy enjoys these, but also my male jumping spider Bertie, who has been particularly picky when it comes to feeders. Now, one thing I was going to mention over this footage is it's okay, you know, insects don't feel pain, the fly probably doesn't even know it's being eaten. I don't know where I heard that information and I just assumed they couldn't feel pain, but when looking it up, I found out they do. So I feel pretty bad for this, but you know, this is one thing that when you take on a pet like this, you gotta take it on. If you're getting a leopard gecko like what I'm talking about, but you don't like feeding the insects, it's the wrong pet for you. Timothy isn't gonna suddenly start eating carrots. So, I've just got to deal with it. The other thing is the fly constantly moves throughout, which I don't know is probably just muscle memory, hopefully. It's not actually alive, hopefully, like a zombie fly, um, but it's kind of disturbing. Usually I prefer feeding freshly dead insects to my inverts, like when I have my ant colony or my jumping spiders. So at least, you know, I can put them out the misery and they're not being eaten alive. They might still be twitching, but they're not actually alive. Um, this is what I did for Timothy when I first offered him food, which was a cricket. And though these crickets are captive bred and they are fed to all of my animals without issue, I have learned that crickets aren't necessarily risk-free. And actually there are quite a few feeders that can be kind of risky for mantis. And though I did do my research before getting Timothy, I feel like reading care sheets versus actually talking to people who have had them for years, had hands-on experience and know these creatures well, paints two very different pictures. So I'm very grateful for everyone's feedback and also learning just so much more since I've had him, even just the way he moves and interact. You can't really beat hands-on experience. I would like to do a video going into more detail about feeder insects for mantis, what you should and shouldn't feed. Now I'm still extremely new to this hobby. I am no expert. I am just a beginner. So I would probably rely on the experts on Mantis Meat, a group on Facebook that I've recently joined and we have discussed collabing in the future. So I think that would be really cool. I kind of want to make this channel, you know, it's mainly known for reptiles, but I would like to expand on that and use my channel as a vessel to get good information out there for all kinds of pets and I'm open to experts in different fields who have interesting exotic animals who want to get in contact with me and maybe we can do a collab and get good information out there. And let me know in the comments below if you own a mantid what species do you keep and what do you usually feed it? But yeah, I'll leave you to watch Timothy finish off this poor fly. If you are interested in mantis, ants, jumping spider, isopods, and of course reptiles, then please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. But thank you for watching and goodbye.